So I'm just going to kind of tap that out to begin with, with my finger, which is always a, a, a dubious thing because I have nails and so there's a real possibility of me poking myself in the eye. But we're going to hope that doesn't happen today. I don't need that kind of drama today. I don't need that kind of drama any day, but... <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Pavanine Studios Beauty and Art. My name is Amy. Thank you for joining me for another Mix It Monday. I'm going to get right into it. Today I'm going to mix the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light in the shade 3N1. And I'm going to mix that with the CYO Life Proof. Nope, this is the matte foundation, no shine zone. I have the shade 203. Basically, I'm choosing colors that I think will work for me right now. I've got a little bit of tan and I, you know, I, I like both of these foundations. So I'm just going to, let's see, let's not be an animal. Let's do it in a palette. <laughs> so <clears throat> I'm just going to take a little squeezy of the Double Wear Light. And I know that there are people that don't uh, like this foundation or that foundation, but I really, I really do. And then I'm going to take another little squeezy of the CYO, which unfortunately you can't buy anymore. But I imagine that quite a few of you have that foundation, especially if you watch Taylor Wynn. She's a big CYO kind of girl. So these are pretty, pretty similar in shade, and I'm hoping that they will be dark enough. I'm gonna go ahead and mix those together in my palette and we're gonna see, and if not, I will add a little <laughs> number seven match made drops because because that's what I do. So I've got my sunscreen on already. And by the way, if you're interested in this look, I will have it up probably right after I do this one. So I will link it above when I can. And until that time, you're just going to have to wait. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling I'm feeling sassy today, girls and boys. So I'm going to blend that out. We'll see how this shade looks here. I like both of these foundations because they're actually neutral. That, like they're actually neutral. They're not, they don't say they're neutral and then they end up being too yellow, too golden. I think that's a little light, but I'm going to go with it and then I will bronze and, and stuff just to kind of bring it all, all together. And I've never mixed these two. So we'll see what happens. I haven't even worn the CYO foundation in ages. Uh, the 203, the color 203, has always been just a tiny bit dark for me in my in the winter months. So I, you know, I don't, I don't know. I just don't, I don't reach for it. Not because I don't like it, but because the color's never been quite right, and I never could find 202, which is the one I thought would probably work well for me in the winter. The other day I got a little sample of the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric Stretchable Concealer and uh, I know that there are a number of YouTubers that really like that concealer and I tried it and I only have the samples, so I don't exactly have my right color, but I did order what I hope is more of my correct color. But I think I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of it today. What do we think? Do I need more? Let's put some concealer on first. And I'm not going to do like all of my face in this video because I like to keep my Mix It Monday videos relatively short. So I have the little samples I have are 3 and 5.5 and 
Three is too light. 5.5 is a little too dark. I'm going to mix a little bit of those two on my hand. So those are the, those are the, ignore my swatches there. Um, those are the two shades. So I'm just going to kind of smoosh those together. And I didn't powder this yesterday when I used it and my mascara did transfer. I was using the new Lash Freak from Urban Decay. So I don't know if it was the mascara or the fact that I didn't powder my concealer. But I might go ahead and just set this a little bit today. Okay, so I've got a couple of sponges here, and I'm going to, this is the e.l.f. sponge, and I really like it for my under eyes, that's what it's meant for. So I like, I like this little sponge for under my eyes and stuff, and it's fine for your face too, it's just, it's small, so. Um, I'm going to take my other sponge, and I'm just going to bounce that over my face. I'm going to take just a touch more on my cheek area just because, I don't know, I'm kind of um, feeling a little, like a little splotchy or broken out or something. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, I think that's going to do it. I'm probably going to powder my face. For some reason, I have like this little area right here that is kind of red and is not wanting to become unread. <laughs> is that a word? Unread? So I'm not loving the way that this looks, although I couldn't tell you exactly why I'm not loving it. But we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and powder and finish off my eyes and do all that stuff. I'll come back and do a final reassessment of how this mixture of the CYO Matte Foundation and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light combination is working out on my skin or if it's working out. I hope it's working out because I have things to do today. <laughs> I have things to do outside the house today. So I will be right back guys. Okay, so I am back and I've got the rest of my makeup on and I've got to zoom out of here and uh, so I'm going to try to quickly go over the things that I that I went ahead and put on my face today. For bronzer, I used the Maybelline City Bronzer. Uh, for blush, I used this Found Baked Illuminating Blush in the color 80. This is uh, available at Target, not Target. Walmart. And for highlighter, I used the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter in the color Rosy. I'll list everything that I have on my face today uh, down below in the description box. So the, the foundation combination that I have on today, I'm not, I'm not loving. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it feels like it's a little too dry looking too heavy looking maybe it has something to do with the other products i have on I, i'm not sure but i don't i'm not loving the way that that this looks on on my face at any rate i'm not i'm not loving the way my makeup looks today for some reason there's just something about it maybe i'm just being a moody bitch i don't i don't know but i'm not loving it and i will check in later and let you guys know how it's going how it's wearing um, it's not super hot or anything out today so but i do have to go out so i have to wear a mask you know how that goes hi guys i'm just doing a quick little check-in because i wanted to let you know a couple of things about the products that i tried today the foundation mix that i did today with the cyo and the Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. It hasn't really broken down or, or gone horribly wrong or anything. There's still something about it that I don't love, 
but um, and I, and so I don't know if I will try this combination again. I might try the maybe I already mentioned this. I might try the Estee Lauder with the CYO Life Proof one, which I think is a little bit um, more of a dewy foundation. You know, it's it's not settled into my forehead expression lines that I can tell. It's settled a little bit right here. And it was doing this kind of, it kind of wore off like right in here. And I was wearing a mask and so maybe that is why. Um, it just, it hasn't worn off in the, in the best way. In my opinion, foundation should not wear off exactly, but the way that it disappears on your skin, if it does so over the course of hours, should be pretty. The way that it does should be attractive. It shouldn't do it in patches or um, pill or, or things like that. So it hasn't pilled or anything that I can tell um, exactly, but it feels like if I were to like rub my skin there, that it would if that makes sense, which I'm not gonna do that, but um, considering the fact that we all have to wear masks and stuff today for when we go out, or at least we should, I, I don't love, I don't love this. So I probably won't mix this one again. I'm not gonna say that this is a total fail, but I'm not as happy with it as I am, as I have been with other combinations that I've made. So thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate your time here. I hope you are enjoying my Mix It Monday videos. I'm, I'm having fun playing around with different mixtures of foundations. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Ring that notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.